during the peak of what I call my burnout, which was about two years ago, where I had all these crazy health symptoms going on, I was just finished recording the audiobook for my second book, Milk the Pigeon. And as soon as I'd finished this crushing three hour recording session, which took a lot of energy and I was already tired, I started to feel really, really tired. And after that, I started to have heart palpitations that were like palpitation after palpitation. And so I kind of waved goodbye to the guy helping me with the audio recording, got in my car, and I started to freak out a little bit. And I sat there for 10 or 15 minutes feeling like I was really worried about what was going on in my body. I felt like I was tingling. Uh, I started to feel short of breath. I felt what I thought was stuff radiating down my left arm. Now, if you're a med student, you know those are signs of a heart attack with chest pain. And even though I didn't have pain, I had a lot of sensation. I had palpitations. So I freaked myself out. And that day, I decided to drive myself to essentially what's like a lower-grade emergency room. And even though, of course, there was nothing wrong, and of course, they didn't give me any useful advice, it was around that time that I realized that, hey, my burnout was causing me anxiety. And more than anything, I psyched myself out. Now in this video, I wanna share over that next year where I really started to develop anxiety for the first time in my life, the exact practice that I did, that I think is something that you will not have seen before. Hey guys, Alex Hine, author of the book, Master the Day. Now, one of the things that can really help you with anxiety is journaling. Because even though I don't use journaling for journaling my feelings, I use it to journal my goals and to overcome a lot of the barriers in my life. So the first link in the description there is actually a series of journaling exercises that you can use to overcome anxiety, figure out what to do with your life, and set and achieve goals. So it's the first link right in the description box. So first, let's introduce you to this practice I'm about to share, and then I'll demo it for you. So for me, if you're, if you're like me, you know that when you Google how to overcome anxiety, you get a whole bunch of exercises. The exercises either typically deal with your mind or with your breathing, but for me, like there is no mental stuff you can do to overcome anxiety, because anxiety is not in your mind. Anxiety is literally in your body. And so it has to be a practice involving both of them, or more so, your body, to get you out of a state of anxiety. And that's really key. If you think anxiety is a state of mind and it's emotion, you're going to treat it as a not real thing. But it's in your body, because you're physically feeling anxiety. Okay? So the two pieces that I realized you need are something to regulate the breath, because that is the quickest way you can regulate your physiology. And the second thing is something physical that brings you into your body and moves that sensation or that feeling. So what I have here is a fusion of a Chinese Qigong exercise with a breathing exercise that I then used until that eventually went away as I began to heal. All right, guys, so this exercise really is comprised of two parts. The first is a six to eight breath in, second breath, and a six to eight second breath out. Super simple, not complicated there. But the first thing in terms of the body movement is, it sounds kind of weird. <laughs> Either by tapping or by rubbing, it's gonna be one of those things that helps ground us. So in Chinese medicine, there's a Qigong exercise where we literally, we're literally like tapping like this. All right? And so you could literally, if you wanted, take like a little fist and hit your chest like Tarzan. So imagine you're feeling super anxious. You're like, you're feeling wired. You're feeling like you're gonna go mad. Just by doing the in to six or eight and out to six or eight by doing this to start will help feel like you're discharging some of that. So I'd be like one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six and basically the longer you can make the inhale and the exhale the better but after you've done that you'll feel like you'll feel tingling in your chest you'll feel that sensation and then after that take your left under your right and you're just going to do these clockwise and counterclockwise circles and it'll almost generate the feeling of like your mom patting your back or like scratching your back when you're a little kid 
it generates that same kind of sensation like you're just falling asleep. Now, I would actually recommend to do this for five minutes. If it's really bad, set a timer and do it for five minutes. You will be in a totally different state. But I'll do it with you here for about 30 seconds or a minute, and then we can actually see uh, as we go through this how you're feeling. All right, so I'll try to have a timer here, and we'll go through, try to breathe to a count of six to eight. So you're really pushing your breath to lengthen. And then we're just gonna go slow, um, clockwise right now and then you could go counterclockwise after all right so we're gonna start one round now for a certain period of time So even just doing that, just for those breaths we did, I already feel my hands were cold before. My hands are already starting to get really warm. And I already, I mean, you could probably see my, this motion slowing down already. So if you do that, five minutes is really, if things are really bad, but certainly if you do that for one to two minutes, it'll completely change your state. So that is mixing breathing with a physical body movement that physically is stimulating the body and this is honestly a kind of qigong used in a lot of different tra uh, traditions and lineages so you can try that and you can let me know how it works so i hope that helps you guys as a beginner exercise if you're ever feeling anxious or any emotions coming up you can do this exact exercise because the breathing and the qigong itself will actually move that stuck sensation in the body. And it's interesting now, the field of somatic memory and all the research on how to use physical movements to actually release trauma is really, really incredible. And to me, that is a power of acupuncture and Chinese medicine. And so Qigong is the fusion of the mind, the breath, the physical body, and that is why it's so powerful to me anyway. So remember, if you can use these two pieces, you can probably change your state pretty quick. Again, if you want to figure out what the triggers are and how to overcome this, you can check out my journaling course or check out the free journaling worksheet and the email series that you're going to get. Click the first link in the description, add your email. You'll get a little story and an exercise to do every few days. All right. Otherwise, you can check out my last videos right there and right there.